What is up guys, I am Exotic Gaming, and today I am back with another Pixel Gun 3D video. I know a lot of you guys are going to be asking me in the comments why I got Ruby Armor, so I decided to take the initiative and write down below in the description the reason why I got Ruby Armor. So, before you comment anything in the comment section, just check the description and see if your question was answered. But anyways, back to today's video. Today's video is finally another glitch tutorial. I've not done a glitch tutorial since probably April of 2015 and I am super excited to show you guys finally another one. This is basically a glitch that will change the capacity of your weapon. If you go into the shop here, you'll see that a weapon like, say, the Sunrise has a capacity of 24. You shoot 24 bullets before you have to reload to the extra ammo that you have. Basically, with this glitch, you will change that capacity, so 24 will go up to more like 36 or maybe even 48. It's a very, very cool glitch, and you can do this in any mode in Pixel Gun 3D. It doesn't have to be multiplayer, doesn't have to be deathmatch, you can do this in points capture, you can do this in survival mode, you can even do this in campaign mode. It's very, very cool. It's free. I, it's 100% free. You don't have to pay any coins for anything or any gems, so I definitely would recommend you guys to try this out. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to create a custom match here just so nobody joins me and tries to kill me as I'm showing you guys this glitch. It's a very, very easy glitch. It doesn't require any skill at all, and it's very, very cool. So, Let's go get right into this glitch here. A very helpful weapon that you should probably have is something that's going to have a very high capacity, like the Automatic Peacemaker UP2. This is definitely helpful if you have a weapon like this. And, uh, you know, you don't have to have this. You can have something like the dual machine guns or just have something that has a relatively high capacity. You don't want to use this with something like a prototype UP2. So, you have the prototype UP2 here. It has a six capacity. You want to change that to be a higher number. All you have to do is shoot one of the bullets out of the weapon that has the higher capacity, reload, and just as it is finishing reload, switch over to the prototype. It'll take a couple of seconds before you get this right, but as you guys can see now, my prototype UP2 has an 18 capacity. All of the numbers that switched from the right side went over to the left side. It's not added any more ammo to my weapon, it's just changed the numbers around. All of the extra bullets that I had now went over to the main weapon. It's a very, very cool glitch, and now I don't have to reload anytime soon. I can shoot all 18 bullets out of the weapon before I need to reload, and it's very, very cool. And the best thing is you can do this with other things, like say you want to do this with the Dark Matter Generator, now you have 45 instead of 15 in the Dark Matter Generator. Say you want to use it with the Bastion, you can do that. All you gotta do, reload, and right before you finish reloading, now you see that the Bastion has 24 instead of just 8. It's a very, very cool glitch, guys, and I definitely would recommend trying this out once in a while. And unfortunately, when you do buy more, as you guys will see here, it will change things up a bit. It'll 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 be a little bit weird um, because now when you reload, um, it's just it's kind of odd. I don't really know exactly what is going on, but it'll change it to 8 instead of 24. So I would recommend using up every single one of the bullets in your weapon before you reload because then you'll realize that it'll just change it back to 8 and you'll have to repeat the process with the dual machine guns and then you'll do this again. But it's worth it guys, it's definitely worth checking out and uh, if I can do this right here... There you go, now 71. It'll basically keep increasing and you can have such a high capacity with the weapon. Like now I can go buy some more here and uh, when I reload again, that'll now change it to 90 with 29. I can now try this out with the Automatic Peacemaker UP2. And once this finishes reloading, as you guys will see here, hold on a second, it takes a little Look, takes a little practice because you have to click it right at the right time. If you don't, then it'll just kind of sit the way that it normally does. But uh, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Most of the time it works, and all of the time it's really, really cool. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys did enjoy this video, then be sure to hit that like button, comment, favorite, and subscribe for some more Pixel Gun 3D videos. Be sure to check out every other glitch tutorial that I have done on this channel. I have done a lot of other glitch tutorials and they all are really, really cool. So yeah, let's, uh, let's do this one more time here with the freeze ray rifle because why not? We're gonna reload here 
and freeze ray rifle there you go 175 now in the freeze ray rifle so yeah thank you all for watching be sure to check out my out of the map glitch tutorials as well those are also some really cool glitches that you can get out of each of the maps in pixel gun 3d you guys might like that and yeah don't have anything else to say so i'll see you all in the next video thank you very much for watching